This is part two of the Elm Spring tutorial. Last time we went over the translation mode and this time we're gonna go over the rotation mode. Um, I made some animation of this car moving forward and stopping here. We're gonna use that motion to uh, create some overlapping motion. So when the car starts, I'd like to see the car rotate back and when it stops, I'd like it to ro dip forward, rotate forward and then back and then you know back to its like leveled out horizontal position. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Click on the controller, and then we click on the locator. I'm gonna put that above the uh, car, and then uh, hit previous. Let's see what we get. Okay, <laughs> wow, that's really extreme. So let's go ahead and reduce the uh, values here. Um, I'm gonna clear this out, reduce the motion here, and let's bring it down like a lot. So I'm, just, uh, I'm gonna guess here and put it all down there. Hopefully it'll be a lot more subtle. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and again, put it above the car and hit previous, see what we get. Yeah, that looks good to me. Um, so yeah, as you can see, you can see the car like kind of pull back. Then when it stops, it dips forward. That's exactly what we want. We're gonna go ahead and bake down that animation. When we bake it down, it's gonna create a layer here. Again, same thing with you know the translation mode. It puts it down on layer and that overlapping map motion is is here, as you can see. So um, when we start to move, we see the car rotate back, and then as it, when it stops, it rotates forward, then back a little bit, and then back to its you know horizontal position. Let's see what happens when we put the locator to the side. I'm gonna add some rotation in the the y axis. So again, click the controller create a locator and then we're going to put this locator to the side okay and i'm going to pre-visit this time i think i'm going to increase the overlap a little bit because i think that was a little bit on the more subtle side but let's add a little bit more overlap so we can see more more rotation so we go ahead and pre-visit and see what we get um hit play it's kind of hard to see in this angle so let's pull it here you get the point like it's created a uh, some free overlapping motion in the rotation y-axis this tool is super simple and quick way to get some pretty decent results <laughs> 